my washing machine kind of broke down, so I'm looking for uh, our our washing machine broke down, and I'm kind of looking for a new washing machine. We got the washers and dryers right over here. Okay. After my big fight with Gino about his porn addiction, things are awkward between us, but he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. So here we are at the appliance store, avoiding and avoiding and avoiding the real problems in our relationship. Happy marriage, happy life, American dream. I had my washer for like 20, almost 23 years. That's a good life. It I was not working very well because um, uh, we smell like wet dogs all the time. It was not dry, like dry in the clothes. Well, my dryer broke down and so yeah. my heat wasn't working. Well, you came to the right place. Why don't you take a look and I'll be up front if you need Thanks, me. Thanks, Patrick. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you, Patrick. This what? is pretty nice, but it's missing an agitator. The yeah. what? Um... I want to try to find you an example. Oh, right here. This is an agitator. And it helps, you know, take the clothes and throw it around and clean them and mix them. Now you're a cleaner expert. And In my all toilets? of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know about this. So convenient. I'm learning. But I did do my research on this fancy washing machine. You're such a nerd. Oh my gosh, look at this one. They are so aesthetic. Oh, look. This is only 500 bucks. And it's got an agitator in it. You know what? It's not fair that, you know, like, we have the money to buy these things because they are things for the house. But when I, you know, need something that I prioritize, and we, we don't have money for those things. I know Jasmine is very upset about me not paying the pageant fee yet, but I had lunch with my Uncle Marco earlier because I really needed some advice about what to do. We have to figure out how can we possibly like move forward. She's been such an independent woman in Panama. She comes here and she's not independent. My advice to you, Gino, you be the bigger person. It's gonna show her that you love her. Let her go in the pageant. It'll be one less thing that you're arguing about, and she can't use it for an excuse anymore to start an right. argument or to feel bad about. Right. Marco Marco's opinion is very important to me because he's become like a father figure to me. He has a lot of wisdom. You know, he's older. He's been through a lot. And so I really appreciated the fact that you know, he's very honest with me and gives me, you know, good advice. Why the beauty pageant is not a priority? It is important for no, me. No, I've always told you I wanted you to go to the Yeah, beauty but pageant. you are not paying for it. Like, you know what? I give well, up Well, I on spoke it. to my Uncle Marco today. And you were talking about me as usual. Are exactly. you going to let me speak? Go ahead. Um, you know, he felt that You know, I should sign you up for the pageant. I know it's something that you wanted, and I booked the pageant, and I paid the 1200 fee for the pageant, basically using our credit card, uh, today. You didn't. Yeah. I, 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 paid, I paid the fee. It's already paid for now. You did? Um... But you know, I, I, I also have some expectations too for you. Um, so a couple of things I would like you to do is not to start arguments with me. And the second thing is I would like you not to say hurtful things to me when we are arguing. I don't start arguments. Yeah, yeah, Jasmine. You continue arguing, Gino, and that's the problem. Gino, Gino, that's why I get mad. You never listen. Yes, I do. For example, look at with the beauty pageant, which I really appreciate. Uncle Marco convincing you. It takes your family, always third parties. 
No, it doesn't okay, take them. Okay, then I'm here. He reminded me. There you go. I'm 100% sure that if Uncle Marco hadn't put pressure on Gino to pay for the beauty pageant entry fee, he would never done it by himself. That hurts me. It's like he is not treating me as a wife. This is like, I'm give you this, you know, but you have to do this. Like, he's trying to condition me. And this manipulative psychology he's trying to use on me, that is used to train dogs. I'm not a freaking dog. I'm his wife, and he's not God. He's bald men. Thank you, but the person that I really have to thank personally is like Uncle Marco because yeah, because I, you because you'll never thank me for anything I've done. No, for you. I, thank you, Gino. I want to make sure you give me all the credit I deserve for busting my ass. First of all, to get you to this country on the K-1. You know... Because no, I don't hear you say thank you You much. know what is like a real man? Real men are providers, and they never throw into my face and list the things they do as a man. Let me tell you what a real woman is. A real woman, an attractive woman, is one that's calm and gentle and not argumentative, angry, and bitchy. So what are you doing with me, then? Uh, that's a good question. I took my uncle's advice, and then she insults me. Oh, you know, you're not a real man because a real man is a provider. That's a low blow. I mean, I supported her financially and emotionally. Um, for three years, and that's like the kind of thanks that I get. I thought maybe we could go to lunch and chat some. I want it to be an adult conversation in which we are going to take turns to talk. Yeah, I mean, that, that's fair. I'm, I'm OK with that. OK. I, I want to take Jasmine to lunch so that we can talk about, you know, what happened at the blind store yesterday, the nasty fight we got into. Ready? OK. Let's go. It hurts me that she said that I wasn't a real man. I mean, this is the kind of crap that I go through too often with Jasmine. How can we get out of this mess of always getting in these stupid arguments? Um, I, I really don't know how to move forward. Uh, I am exhausted, mentally exhausted. I have to be honest with you, I'm mentally exhausted myself. Poor Gino. I know that I said some mean things to Gino yesterday, but I'm not the only one. Okay. I never would have thought that this is how our marriage was going to look like. We are acting like we are each other's enemy. And our relationship has been affected sexually. We don't have intimacy. And we are newlyweds. This is not how a marriage should be. I wanted to go to the gym today. I really wanted so badly. I was needing it after yesterday, you know, because the appliance place that you say, like, you don't see me as an attractive woman because of the things that I do. I didn't say you were not attractive. Well, what you said, That really hurt me. Well, I'm sorry that I retaliated, but um, you told me that, you know, I'm not a provider, I'm not a real man. Mm. And that really hurts me because I feel like I've been a provider to you. And then, you know, 
I told you that I finally paid for the pageant and I was expecting you to be happy and, and you didn't give me any credit for doing that. And um, that hurt you? Yeah, that hurt me. I am sorry if I hurt your, your masculinity as a man and you felt less than a man. That was not my intention. And I'm gonna work very hard on not starting arguments. And even if we're arguing, I promise on my life, you know. Even when I'm mad at you, I will still respect you. So you, you won't say hurtful things? I won't say hurtful things purposely, but I want you, as my husband, to take the initiative in the intimacy. It's going to take some time. And when I'm comfortable to do it, I, I'll let you know. Like, you know, I want you to find me attractive even if I argue. Like, uh, are you talking about physically? Because physically, physically, I'm attracted to you. You're a beautiful, very beautiful woman. What do you like about me physically the most? I like your big, perky breasts. <laughs> Very good shape. OK, I like everything from you, physically. Like, in my eyes, you're the most beautiful man on Earth. Oh, so sweet. We've been through a very rough patch, but baby steps, we are improving, and we can finally have a civil conversation and baby, if I'm in a bad mood, yeah. this is your big toe. Just put it in my mouth, very deep into my throat. And down your throat. Yeah. And so she shuts up. Yeah, it's like a pacifier in my mouth. I love it so much. True love. Do you want to try my, my tomato? It's very good. Come. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on, you're Italian. You should like tomato. No, it's good. <laughs> 